Hello guys, Wuhu here, back with another video. This time around, we are talking about the vegetable sink. And the vegetable sink is, of course, some buffs and stuff like that. I'll get into that more of that when we get over and have a look at it. Uh, but first of all, make sure you guys like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you check out the gardening, uh, the full garden guide that you have on the channel. Uh, if I remember, I will put it in the uh, description below. You can go the full guide. Uh, but this is specific just to the vegetable sink because I didn't cover that in the that day because I didn't have it So first of all uh, how you make the gardening sink I made one right here You can use it as well if you are a part of the club uh, But if you go to your gardening bench and I'll, I'll co I've covered all that in the in the other guide uh, You go down to gardening and there is the vegetable sink So it's gonna cost you some uh, some glim some flux and one of each of these and this doesn't seem very uh, a lot right but uh, the a uh, bun feed. Uh, I think that that is one of these last ones. You need 300 gardening to get that and it costs you one of these and all that jazz. Uh, but you can, of course, use other people's. So, um, yeah, if you don't have this one, you can't. But I wanted to make one in, of course, the uh, club world. So we have a vegetable sink right here. And as you we go into it, you can see there's all sorts of these things. And uh, these all gives buff. Uh, you make two of these first of all this is the physical damage one so uh, when you craft this you can't not craft two so it's gonna last you for two hours and if you go into your uh, character sheet it's gonna be here under food and if it doesn't show here it might be because you have some mods that are covering it so make sure you take off your mods if you are playing on PC um, Hopefully at some point it's going to come to consoles as well and they have to, well, they don't have mods, but uh, it'll come to them as well. But you need one of the unicorn and the glim and some flux and you make one of these and you get 250 physical damage for uh, basically two hours because you, uh, well, when you equip it, it, you can't take it out again. So if you basically get this, it starts decaying and you basically, the buff runs out. That's basically what it is. And there's also one for jumps, which is really nice. That's only 40 minutes though. Last only 40 minutes, you do get three of them. So yeah. And then you got some attack speed. You get only one of these. And this is one of the one of the more uh, expensive one, but 10% attack speed is mostly not very, not very useful for most classes. So yeah. Uh, next one is five maximum energies. These uh, last for uh, three hours. You only get one, but it does last you for, uh, you know, uh, three hours. It doesn't give you uh, more regen. It just gives you maximum energy regen. Uh, sorry, not maximum. Just maximum energy. That's what I mean. And then, of course, the Cabo Patch gives you 250 uh, damage uh uh, for for this and it does last you only get one but it does last you two hours so this one basically lasts the same time i don't know why these are not exactly the same uh because these are some of the uh first crops you do craft of the new ones uh so it does do the same but this one you get the same out of but you just get two of them i have no idea why but for some reason that's how they did it but it gives 250 magic damage that's of course pretty nice uh, the next one is the bun feed. That was the one we were talking about before. It's a little bit expensive. You do get two of them, but you get 0 0.5 critical hit uh, for, well, it's going to be for two hours because you get two of them. Uh, next is a 20 cooldown speed, which is really nice, but it only lasts you uh, six uh, minutes. You do get 25 of these, so you can, uh, you know, don't you don't have to use all the 25 that you get if you just want to use that, but it only lasts you six minutes uh, before it basically case one stack and then it's gonna be the next one next one is the most probably like the most usable one i would say uh that is the experience gained and you get uh three of them so you get 40 uh minutes per of those uh but you gain one experience it says one experience gain so i'm pretty sure it's like only like one experience you get it does stack with all the other things i'm pretty sure uh i haven't tested it out so far but I could actually just make some right now because why not? Uh, we can we can test on the fly, right? So here we have one experience. So we have it's gonna say one gain experience. So it is only one experience. So right now I have 150% experience because I do have patrons. So if I equip that, uh, it's gonna give me only one. So it does not stack with it. It doesn't. Well, I guess if you have a potion on as well, it's gonna give you a little bit more. But yeah. Three only one experience for for that, 
which is really not that incredible. I would wish that it was like a percentage, like 10% or 20% or something like that, but 1% extra gained is not that much at all, I would say. Uh, of course, if you're leveling, everything basically uh, counts towards it. So is it worth making? Sure, if you're uh, leveling your first character and stuff like that and you have access to this, but you do have to use you know, a thousand flux and 500 glim and some of these onions, of course, but uh, all of that just for, for a little bit of experience for, you know, one and a half minutes. I don't know if that's worth it or not, but any, again, any experience gain might be, be okay. The last one is the 10 superstition, which is kind of funny. Uh, I feel the superstition is basically a stat that was a joke that was made with, um, I think it's uh, first of April fools uh april fool's joke it was you know superstition it's supposed to be like the more superstition you have the the better rng you have but uh, it when you ask the dev when you ask the devs and say hey is, is superstition something they they don't really answer with a no or a yes so it's kind of like a meme uh usually i wouldn't go with this just because of that but yeah uh, it does last you for uh, 23 hours, so I guess that's something. But uh, again, if you want to use 75 flux and 125 glim, go right ahead, I guess. But yeah, I think they could have done something else uh, with these buffs, basically. Uh, so you might be wondering, there's something missing that we actually had in the preview. Uh, the preview gave us a lucky, uh, what's it called, a lucky clover. And the lucky clover gives you uh, 50 magic find, actually, which is actually very, very, very nice. Uh, and I thought, and many other thought, that these were going to be in here as well. But uh, as you can see, I have unlocked everything. There's nothing to unlock or something like that. Um, so yeah, there is no magic find, which is really, really weird because that is what we got previewed in the St. Patrick's Day event we had uh, going into Trove. So very curious why nothing of these basically give uh, anything at all. Of course, the, the best ones is of course the magic damage and the physical damage and maybe the experience one, but all in all, these are just very, very not worth it. Um, and I don't know why they didn't include the magic find. Maybe they figured it was too expensive or whatnot. Or maybe they're saving it for some more updates to, or some extra benefits or something like some extra, what would you call like extra things coming to the gardening update in the future that they're adding that and then want to add things like that. But kind of curious that that wouldn't, it was in uh, there in, uh, to start out with. So anyways, this was a small guide or a small, uh, basically, I get some thoughts and some uh, walkthrough of basic the buffs and stuff like that and then and like how to get your vegetable sink. And again, you can use this one if you have in the uh, in the clubs and stuff like that. You can basically use it. But again, it probably uh, requires you to have 300 gardening. I haven't used one before that. So uh, get 300 gardening and then you should be able to use this at least. That's, that's at least confirmed. <laughs> I want to say that. So uh, again, if you find this uh, video helpful or anything like that, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Again, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.